So this is the corner that I'm going to replace. As you can see, to give you a bird's eye view, it's quite messy. And then down the down the bar, you can see it's a rounded. There's a rounded corner there, and similarly down here. Like Roxy's head. All right, uh, we're back. So there's the uh, piece that we're replacing, and uh, it was irregular in through here. So I took wood putty and puttied that, and then sanded it some. And also, it didn't fit against the form real well here and here, so I just put wood putty there and let it dry. Put plastic down. Just put this form together. I'm using these clamps. It's so temporary. I didn't get, I wasn't going to cut these to length or anything. So we're ready for the crete. So after that wood putty dries, that's exactly what we'll do. Okay, so for the crete, we got a little a plastic bag around the positive piece we're replacing. And pulled it up, not the whole way up, so the curve still continues there. We'll see how that works out. Next to the wheel barrel. That's that for that segment. I'm gonna put wire in it. I did not, couldn't find any, and I'm like, hey, it's not gonna fall apart. All right. Okay, here we are at the job site. <laughs> We have our <laughs> the job site. The job site. The <laughs> casting is in place. So there it is. And there's you should be getting a bird's eye view. I'm gonna embed a quarter in the bottom of it just for fun. And a view on this side. So it's heavy, and we should end up with a piece that matches the piece that we left out. The new piece will key into that nicely, I think. And we have it braced like that. We got creative. And from that side. Just made some legs and shivved them. There's a nail in each one of those legs from the top. Speaking of legs. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> this is back to the pour. I, it's been about an hour since we poured, and I came back out to shape this. So using the, the putty knife along this edge here, and up, up, and make a, that bull nose, see? Been working that. And then you gotta, you have to kind of the edger is what we used to use, you know. Yet you need that line there. You can't just pour that and blend that because you have line li lines over here, you know, line everywhere. So you have to do that. So yeah, obviously we put a shell in there. That was cool. And I put a quarter on the bottom of the form. So we should be able to look up from underneath when this is all done and see a quarter. I think with George Washington on there. And uh, now you're up to date. So here we go, the finished product. Just give you the setting here, where we are, fire pit, and manual zoom here, zooming in. There's the corner. Color match wasn't even thought thought through it's almost perfect so we put a shell on the top it shows up in that there was a slight edge here where the casting left off and I formed this by hand I scraped that out a little bit beautiful and the quarters in there see how it all fits beautifully up and around uh. Pretty good. Wow, it looks fabulous. I am super impressed.
So yeah. I said yeah. to Terry, that I brought decades of experience to bear on this project. You don't just do this. We started yesterday, and then she made me a tequila drink. She said, how's the drink? I said, it's fantastic. She said, decades of experience. Many, many. Probably almost as many as you have making that. <laughs> yeah, I started about when I was 20. <laughs>